Okay, anyways. Hey YouTube, Twala here. How did I even come up with that name? I don't even know. I don't even say it really in my videos. It's funny. This is going to be a deep topic. Um, but I think it needs to be said. I, I honestly do. I think... I speak for a lot of women out there when I say something like this and maybe even guys can relate to this because it's more about not all females are incapable of having kids. There are some guys out there that are incapable of having kids, but I don't know how they handle it. When you're infertile, it's hard. Infertile. Is that a word? Is it? <laughs> but when you're infertile, it's hard. Especially when you get older in life and people's like, well, why don't you have kids? Or, well, why, why this and why that? Or, well, don't you want kids? Yeah, I do. But I'm not going to share with you what I'm about to share now. When I was 18, found out that it would be hard for me to have kids. But nothing is impossible. If things happen, and if I am blessed with a little one, it's going to be the most exciting thing ever. And it's going to be a blessing and a miracle and everything else. But anyways, I went to the doctor and they said that I would be able to have kids. That it would be nearly impossible. Even though nothing is impossible. Nothing is. Everything is possible with God and Jesus. Nothing is possible with man. Okay? Okay. I always remember that. And I remember hearing that, and I acted strong during the day. Like, I was like, okay, whatever. Okay, I have kids. Whatever. No bother me. <clears throat> but when I was alone, it hit. It hit hard. And I remember curling up on my bed, just bawling and crying. Then as the time went by, and... As years passed, all my friends were getting married or having kids or vice versa or one or the other. And then people would ask me, well, when are you going to start having kids? You need to start having kids. You need to do this. You need to do that. And I'm thinking, hush, because you have no idea what I go through on a regular basis to those people that don't understand. Don't, don't say that. Don't say it anymore. Like, well, are you going to have kids? Well, are you going to do this? Because those little words that's very on the surface and it doesn't get deep in, it starts chipping away the wall and it goes down and it gets you all like depressed or whatever and you just... You get so emotional. Like, for me, I get so emotional at times. So there are times when I'm just sitting there bawling. Just bawling because of these words. And it's like, well, your parents probably want grandkids. Who says that? Seriously. But be careful what you say, people, because it hurts. And not to be able to carry something for eight to nine months, if that in you and to feel that closeness and that bond with it but it's like one of those dreams are so far away but being infertile is not your fault well, guys have left me because I've been infertile like after I get close to them and we're engaged and whatever and I'm like well I can't have kids it's hard for me to have kids it's like either, oh, it's okay, yeah, it's okay, it's fine. But then they go find out they're cheating. Or they go, oh, I'm leaving you. I'm breaking up with you because you can't have kids. That crushes you too. Really bad. But ladies, it's not your fault. And guys, it's not your fault if you can't have kids either. And if somebody wants to leave because of that situation, they're not right for you. Yeah, I know. It hurts. It hurts really bad. It does. And you know, and there's been times when I have actually thought I was pregnant. Because I wanted a baby so bad that my body 
led me to believe that I was. Had these weird cravings and <laughs> yeah. And it felt like I was gonna throw up, even though I never did. But yeah, your body can be your worst enemy sometimes. Even though adoption is not affordable to some people. And sometimes when you look at a baby, you just long for a baby. You get baby fever and it just, it seems like it amplifies 10 times more than somebody that can have kids. But don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Because if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Or if you're meant to be a babysitter, be a nanny, be a teacher, be somewhere involved with kids, it'll happen and you'll give them the love that you would give your own kids. And to those people that thought that they were pregnant because their body tricked them big time, I'm sorry. One day you will have something so great, whether it's just having a niece or nephew or stepkids or loving one as your own. You're gonna have something. And to those people that's had miscarriages, there is no words to describe that because it chips at your emotions. And even if I wasn't pregnant, my body was telling me that I was, and then felt the disappointment of not being it and being emotionally crushed for a while. I, I don't know how a miscarriage is, but I could only imagine because that was hard to figure out that, you know, I wasn't pregnant, but things need to stop being so taboo. We as people, and as women, and as humans, we need to open up. We need to speak out and take whatever life throws at us by the horns and just wrestle it down until we can overcome it and have victory over it. That's what I think. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I hope it reached some and that some understand. And to those people that don't understand what it feels like, stop. Just stop. Like, say that you were in their shoes. The shoes that cannot have kids. Or the shoes that it's hard to have kids. Or, or the shoes that have had a miscarriage. It's so afraid to have another one because they don't want to go through that emotional pain again. Stop. Think before you speak, people. Because it hurts. And every time you open up your mouth and you make a joke about it or you make a statement about it, it chips away at our hearts, at our, at our soul, at our well-being. Just think. So, I hope you like this little video. Remember to stay lovesome. Because no matter the storms you've been through, you're beautiful. And you're loved. Yes. Bye, loves. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And thank you for watching. As always. <laughs>